G'day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. The tide is already so so low it's still gonna go out for like the next two or three hours. Um, it might even go to negative today I'm not sure. Anyway our first shell find is this guy. You have just a bunch of pebbles in there. Wow it's just a pretty pink crowned comb with some lovely red markings on it. Just thought that one was nice it caught my eye. Anyway, I am very excited to see what else I can find here today. Alrighty, some things to grab. This guy, I noticed him and then the wave came like four times. There we go. Just got myself a cute little white flat sand snail. Aw, I thought these guys had all headed for the hills since school holidays started, but nope, there's still a couple around. He's a lovely live brown lined paper bubble snail. Hello, friend. There you go. You're just gooping along, aren't you? Yes, you goop like a good thing. Well, oh my goodness, thank God the sun is out. Because look, there's an honest to goodness white gleam there that I would have missed otherwise. Sir, are you a live one or are you empty? Let's take a look. Are you alive? Oh, he wasn't stuck. Oh, it had air bubbles in it. That's odd. I would like to mention that there was a storm last night, so maybe it was thrown up in the air. That took me by surprise. I swear I didn't place that there. Um, it is an empty Arabian calorie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I wonder if that just washed up because it feels pretty nice, you know. It feels like a good Arabian. No, it's just sitting there. Are you kidding me? What? Oh my goodness. Ooh, it wasn't that long ago when I found my last Isabella Cowrie. Ooh. Uh, yes, this is an Isabella Cowrie. Wow. It's not as shiny as the last one I got. The last one was like gem condition. But look, you can still see a bit of his black pattern right there. Got his lovely, uh, very, very vibrant orangey red tips. Oh, that's so nice. These guys are super uncommon around here. So, ooh, I guess I'm having a good day. Oh, right in there. I don't think I've ever found anything like literally right Right in there. Oh, it's in front of one of those like sea anemone things. Give it to me. Ah, oh, there we go. Was that on camera? I can't tell. Anyway, I got myself a faded cherry cowrie. These guys usually start out as like a very darkish red orange, um, but yeah, they kind of lighten to this yellowy orange. It's very nice. This is actually the second one in two days for me. Oh, I see a very beautiful snake head down there. This is also where an octopus was a while ago. I do wonder if he's still around. Ooh, ooh. Okay, first of all, check to see if he was empty. There's just pebbles in there. And my goodness, he feels like a very nice calorie. Like his markings on top, that is a beautiful snake head. Oh, did you guys notice that Hebrew cone before me? Oh, he's a live one, we'll leave him be. Actually, I, I, there's this little snake head down there. I don't know if I wanna put my hand down there because, ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't notice that one. Okay, suddenly I'm okay with putting my hand down near where the octopus's lair is. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Wow, it's got like some lovely purple along the top as well. I'm pretty sure that is the blood stained cone, I'd say. Again, this one is empty as well. Wow, and what caught my eye down there was a tiny little snake head and a music cone. Am I a brave little toaster? Wait, what's this one? Hold on, I'm just gonna grab up a couple that I see. Please, no octopus. Oh, the little one, the little one, give it to me. Oh, oh my goodness, oh! Look at the white one, that is a beauty. That's a marriage cone, the white one's a marriage cone. Oh my goodness, so I picked up the teeny tiny dwarf snakehead, he's lovely. A little music cone, he's kind of a bit old. I don't know if I'll keep him, but I definitely want this lovely, lovely marriage cone. Either that or it's a, uh, it's a music cone without any spots. I can't tell. Mm, do I want him? I mean, maybe? Yeah, why not? There we go. Got myself a black neurite. I see a shiny cowrie. Let's grab him out. Uh, where did he go? I saw him from way up high. This guy. Oh my goodness. He looks even better coming up close. Wow. His color is very interesting. He's got a giant healed break right there. Look at how it changes his color. Uh, this guy is a beautiful yellow toothed cowrie. Sometimes I just call him a blue cowrie. Anyway, wow, I really like how that side of him looks super cool like that. Well, I just got to the mystery cave of doom and of course Mr. Crab over there caught my eye. Second thing, let's take a look at the eroded cowrie. Ooh, oh, you know, I was not expecting that to be a nice one. It feels like wet glass. Okay, oh my goodness, that's a, 
that surprised me. Oh, this is also where I found a beautiful Humphreys cowrie here the other day too. So I guess it's just like time for cowries after that big storm last night. Oh, I must definitely be the first one in the rock pools today. Look at him. Oh my goodness, it's been back to back gorgeous cowrie finds for like the last half an hour for me. Wow. It is just a little donkey cowrie. Isn't he lovely? Alrighty, yep, he can go with like the Isabella, the Arabian, the blue cowrie. Oh my goodness, and the snake, because there's been a lot of nice ones today. Well, right into the danger zone, although it's not a danger zone today on a day like this with the tide so low. Whoa, look at him. Another great cowrie. This time it is a graceful cowrie. Wow, just love that lovely spot on him too. Oh, no way, look at that one. Oh, are you kidding? It's a mostly whole, it's just missing the tip, a mostly whole Campbell Strombus. I've not seen them for here, from here in so long. I thought I'd only ever find them in Harvey Bay these days. Okay, that's a really cute one. I'm taking him. Oh, uh, uh, wait, there was a cowrie under there. Oh, where I just put my hand, there was a cowrie. Um, yeah, that one's gone forever. I noticed this orange droop right at the back. Oh, I'm barely able to get it. There we go. Ooh, got myself a lovely orange droop. He's fairly worn away, but with a bit of mineral oil, he'll keep those lovely yellow colors. I'm also going to pick up a couple of snakeheads because there's snakeheads here. Of course there's snakeheads here. Oh, this one in the middle here is very nice. That one's got all, you know, worn on the top, but this one's a good one. All right, what else is down here? Give me that one as well. Oh, look at the color on him. Up, 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 up. Oh, it's a lovely flat sand snail. Got that purpley blue color. This is my favorite color for these guys. I just don't see it as often as like the yellow and the white ones. Okay. Oh, there's like crabs scurrying under there. Oh, <laughs> scared me. Anyway, yep, got some goodies. Oh, an orange mitre. This is where my knee was when I kneeled down to get that orange droop. So uh, maybe that was just under the sand before. That's super cool. And look at this guy. I just noticed him as I was uh, getting the camera out again. It's just a blue cowrie, but he's kind of faded. Makes him kind of have a nice light blue color on the side. It is so low today. It's usually impossible to get to this spot. Oh, I'm excited about the moon snail. How do you look? Oh, you know. Oh, let me just get back up. He looks pretty nice. This guy is the chestnut banded moon snail. Or oh, sorry, chestnut banded sand snail. There is a difference somehow. There is just a big old pebble in there. He has lost a lot of his color. That's usually like a darker brown, but oh my goodness, don't usually see these. So that's a nice one to collect today. Oh, no way. Look at that one. It looks extremely old. I can already see it's empty as well. Oh, it's whole. It is extremely old. Oh my goodness. Yes, definitely an empty one. Oh my goodness. If I wasn't sure, I would have gotten the tongs out. Yep, yeah, just bits of uh, stuff in there. Oh my, look at that. He is extremely faded. Only looks good on that side. It is a textile cone. One of the most poisonous cone shells and one of the most poisonous animals on the planet, I think. Uh, luckily, they aren't aggressive to humans, but wow, I would not have wanted to find this one when it was alive. Oh my goodness, I just caught that out of the corner of my eye and I was like, that doesn't look like a sea cucumber. That doesn't look like a rock. Hello, sir. Oh, it wasn't stuck. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that feels better than the first one I found today. It is, oh, you know, is that an Arabian or an Eglantina? That might be an Eglantina. Oh my goodness. <gasps> That's freaking lovely. Look at this. You can kind of see his juvenile pattern underneath that lighter brown color on that side there. So he's just moved out of the sub-adult phase. Oh my goodness, he's lovely. This is why you gotta check in the uh, the creepy crevices when you look in the rock pools for stuff because uh, there's Arabians and they're hiding and sometimes they hide in those spaces. Oh, that one in the corner, that has to be alive, right? Let's give it a poke test. Hello. Oh, it's not. I mean, it's not stuck. Ooh! Oh, that surprised me. Usually the crabs take these guys, but I guess he's too big for a crab or for like the regular crab. Anyway, I actually thought that was a giant hairy triton. It is just a Spangler's trumpet, also called a Spangler's triton. Cool. Oh, that's literally just sitting there. There is like a whole family of 12 right in front of me. Um, well, about, you know, 10 meters in front of me. They didn't spot this one. <gasps> Oh, that's a beautiful brown line paper bubble shell. Um, I actually found two of these yesterday as well. They're just absolutely wonderful shells to find. Oh, right in my shadow. Look at that one. Um, 
Uh, yes, it is empty. There's just a tiny little Venus shell in there. <gasps> wow, that's got a pretty pattern on it. It's got a lovely little point as well. It is like a very, very nice crowned cone. Probably one of the best ones I've found in recent memory. My goodness. When the tide comes out, it makes these kind of like little like eddies full of water where there's shells trapped underneath the sand. Oh, just spotted this one. <gasps> okay. It's like for the calories today. Yes, I would like one of every kind, please. We've got ourselves a lovely grape calorie right here. Pretty worn and faded on the top, but gosh, it looks nice on that bottom part, doesn't it? Alrighty, it's rack line time. Just noticed this one right off the bat. I am actually not sure what scallop that is. Um, it doesn't look like a rusty ribbed one. It doesn't look like a scaly one. It's like too broad sided. I don't know, maybe a glory scallop. It's a nice one, so I'm gonna take him. Also today, like the reason I came out today was to look for more of those purple violet sea snails and the little ram's horns. So uh, I'll try looking at the high rack line here. And then sometimes when the purple snails wash up, they're sometimes over on the open beach side on the other side of the cliff too. So uh, yes, wish me luck today, guys. You are kidding, look at him gleaming. There we go, oh my, he is lovely. Got myself a little cat cowrie ride here. Um, he's missing all of his little specklings on top, but he's still lovely and gorgeous and shiny. He actually reminds me of the cat cowrie I found yesterday and I'm suddenly wondering, did I accidentally leave that one at the beach yesterday? Uh, anyway, yep, he's coming with me. Oh, look at this thing. Hold on, let me get out of the wind a bit. Look at this guy. I sometimes find them, they are like, almost like paper thin like less than paper thin you can crush it in your hand if you really wanted to it's like a little see-through white moon snail oh i've got no idea what they're called but i'll try to keep it intact in my bag it's just a super cool one that i sometimes uh, rarely see here oh i wonder if i missed this one yesterday or if it's uh freshly washed ashore oh look at that i picked up like a ton of these yesterday it is a beautiful ram's horn made by a type of squid rather than a sea snail. I think they blob around like that, like bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, apparently these wash up by the thousands on Western Australia's shores, but I almost never see them here. So it's like, it's really exciting to pick up so many lately. Well, I am on the open side of the beach now. Oh, I've just found some violet swirly boys. I can't believe I forgot to check here yesterday. Oh my goodness, there is one. There is two. This one's an actually like a very big one for these like little purpley dudes. I think I saw some more over here. And this one, yes, he does need some cleaning on the inside. So these are two different species. They're both violet sea snails that come in on the uh, poisonous jellyfish and the jellyfish poison is what gives them this great purple color. These small ones are one species and these other ones are like a different species within the same genus and the same family. My goodness, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep picking them up when I see them. So for anyone wondering, I dare say these guys have been here for a few days and died up on the rack line. They came in with these guys, these little like by the wind jellyfish. All of the jellyfish that had arrived like days ago ended up turning white, like this one here, white and clear. There's like a bunch of them everywhere. So I guess that's a pretty clear indicator that they came probably days ago and just no one has found them to pick them up. I don't know, do they just not notice them or just not want them? Oh my goodness, look at this guy beached up here. I think they called a blue dragon. Um, I'm not gonna touch him because he is actually very, very poisonous. Um, I don't even wanna help him get back into the water actually because he is so poisonous. Uh, best just to leave him where he is, I guess. Oh, another ram's horn. I think this is the first one I've seen on the open beach here. Oh, did I just break it? Uh, no, I think it was just broken on that other side. You know what, if it's good from one side, that's good enough for me. Well, that is certainly not too shabby. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. My goodness, everyone, two days in a row for me, school holiday days too, and uh, I just stayed away for like the last two weeks. So I thought, nah, there is no chance there'll be any shells left for me, but wow, look at all of these. Oh my goodness. And of course it is the end of the video. So it's time to talk about a favorite. And if you have a favorite that you want to share, please tell me down in the comments my goodness everyone there is so much to like on a day like today and yes of course i did find a bunch more of these ew, don't jump it a bunch more of these beautiful violet sea snails oh my sweet good golly goodness just uh just on the open beach out here 
and uh, some more ram's horns as well. But I don't think they're my favorites this time. I do want to give some honorable mentions though. Maybe I'll give an honorable mention to this little donkey. He's not quite super duper shiny on top, so uh, he only gets the honorable mention this time. I'm sorry, donkey, you are lovely. I'll give an honorable mention to this lovely brown line paper bubble snail. I think he's wonderful. And uh, you know what I want to give an honorable mention to? The cat cowrie. I think he's adorable. He's very shiny, even though he doesn't have all of his speckling. So maybe he just hadn't grown it yet. But anyway, as for my favorites, oh my goodness, I think I have two or three favorites. Two or three favorites. I don't know. The least of the favorites first. You know, it's probably going to be this one. Yes, just a cute, shiny little dwarf snakehead. Isn't he just fabulous? And you know, the other favorite goes to this absolutely beautiful eroded cowrie from the mystery cave of doom. Can't believe that was there for me. And uh, it definitely wasn't there when I found that beautiful Humphreys cowrie yesterday. But my favorite, oh my goodness, you would think, oh, is it the Arabian or is it the Eglantina? Well, unfortunately the Arabian has dried with a bit of a white spot on top. So he's not gonna be the favorite today, but this guy, oh my goodness, look at this beautiful, barely adult Eglantine cowrie. It is wonderful. So yep, that is my overall favorite for the day. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.